I loved the idea of teaching them. But why did they keep interrupting me when I was speaking? I had great plans for them. Why weren't they interested in what I was saying? As my frustration grew, my teaching tone of voice changed. These were good kids, a lot of work for teachers throughout the multiple years, but really good kids. As individuals, I enjoyed their humor, their energy, their honesty, but they had learned that if they persevered in harassing a teacher to be off topic, they could get out of their schoolwork. They quite literally told me that. So when they were harassing me, I lost sight of why the tone of your voice matters when teaching. I let my stress levels rise, and although I did not escalate to shouting at them, I had not yet learned to manage my frustration in a way that communicated that I felt in control of the class. If this was a competition for who was controlling the class, they won. Today I'm here to share with you how to use your teaching tone of voice to overcome classroom management struggles today. So let's just take a moment before we dig in, I want to share another little opportunity with you and then we'll continue on. Hey there teachers, Marion Bestfield here with Engaging Curiosity. Thanks so much for joining me here for one of my weekly videos. As a faith-led, retired classroom and SPED teacher, my passion is to support you on your journey to calm classroom chaos and elevate student engagement in ways that free up your time outside of the classroom. Despite my passion for teaching, my transition from learning support into the classroom filled me with fear and trepidation. I knew at least some of my weaknesses and that left me with some imposter syndrome. Fortunately, as a former SPED coordinator, homeschool parent and teacher, literacy interventionist and program coordinator, and most importantly, wife to a high school teacher and mother of two, I brought decades of diverse experiences with me that I'm here to share with you. As I applied everything I learned, classroom management became a breeze and teaching became everything I had believed it could be. I have bolded it all down to five pillars of classroom management upon which everything else rests. To find out more about those five pillars of classroom management, Download my free classroom management checklist. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get back to today's topic. So how does voice impact tone? First, let's define voice. When we teach students reading and writing, we teach them about writer's voice. So let me give you an example. I submitted the original blog post from which this video was made to ChatGPT when almost all but what I'm about to share with you had been completed. I asked ChatGPT to give me feedback on my voice as a writer. What I am about to share with you is what ChatGPT said about my voice. Except for having numbered the subheadings for the purposes of clarity, I have taken this verbatim from Chat. The tone of the voice in this blog post is a mix of frustration, reflection, encouragement and guidance. Let's break down the various tones. The initial frustration, the initial parts of the post expresses frustration with students' behavior and the challenges faced by the teacher. Phrases like, why did they keep interrupting me and they won, convey a sense of frustration. Two, reflection. The tone shifts to reflection as the author analyzes the impact of their teaching tone of voice on student behavior. There's an acknowledgement of the need for self-awareness and managing frustration levels. Three, encouragement. The post encourages teachers to consider the po importance, excuse me, of tone of voice in communication and classroom management. It provides insights into the positive effects of a well-modulated teaching tone engagement and establishing authority. Four, guidance. Throughout the post, there's a guiding tone, offering advice on how to help and improve teaching tone of voice. The author shares insights into activities to practice tone of voice and emphasizes the significance of emotional connection and cultural sensitivity in communication. There's a lot in the tone, isn't there? Positivity. The overall tone becomes positive, especially towards the end. There's encouragement to celebrate small victories, a reminder that failure is a lesson in disguise, and a sense of camaraderie with other teachers on the same journey. Six, supportive. The post ends on a supportive note, assuring teachers that they are not alone in their efforts to refine their teaching tone and voice. 
It acknowledges the impact teachers have on shaping the future and emphasizes the positive interactions that contribute to this. In summary, the tone of the blog post is a journey from frustration to reflection with a strong emphasis on encouragement, guidance, positivity, and support for teachers. Voice is so much more than just our pitch and volume. Voice is the words we use, how we use them, and how we communicate our knowledge and what's on our hearts too. It is more than whether we are gritting our teeth, smiling, or raising our voice. And it is those things too. <sighs> so that's a lot. Now, just join me for a brief detour before we discuss how does tone of voice affect communication. Hey there again. Thank you for spending this time with me. Just a reminder about the free classroom management checklist. Find the link in the description below. Okay, so how does tone of voice affect communication? I knew that establishing the correct teaching tone of voice was crucial for establishing healthy and effective communication in the classroom and the tone of a classroom. But how much does tone of voice affect communication? Consider the following five points. One, the right teaching tone of voice provides clarity and understanding. If my teaching tone and voice is clear and well modulated, students are more likely to grasp the information I am sharing. It will be co coherent and easy to follow. Two, engagement and interest are impacted by my teaching tone of voice. So how does one tone of voice affect communication? If I sound engaged, it will help the students to become engaged, making even the most mundane topics more interesting. Students will be more likely to participate in active discussions. I mean, really, if I sound bored right now, are you going to remain interested either? How important is a teacher's tone of voice? If I model that speaking with impatience and frustration is acceptable, I will find it creeping in during the group work and playtime. I love the idea. You are hopefully them. using your tone of but voice to establish authority, when I was authority and respect. I had great plans for why them. Why weren't they interested in what I was saying? Authority and As my frustration grew, Although my teaching tone of voice tone of alone voice is changed. not enough These were good to establish kids. authority. A lot of work for teachers. It is an essential years, component. but really good kids. Through our tone, As individuals, I enjoy their humor, their energy, their honesty. But they learned that if they persevered in harassing the teacher to understand the classroom expectations and rules. They which is quite one of the reasons why the that. tone of your voice matters. So when they were harassing I me, once had I a classroom why the tone of your voice sub matters when tell teaching. me she couldn't get a student I let my to comply. Stress levels rise, she could and be amazingly did not happy friendly with shouting at them. And she wanted to be their friend. Manage my but her teacher's in a way tone, when a student that wasn't able to do the work, the class. was critical rather if than understanding If this was a competition for who was controlling the class, Because the assistant was only in my class for the day, I did Today I'm here to share with you how to use your teaching tone of voice to overcome classroom management I lent her my authority that day primarily because I didn't think it defined attitudes. So let's just take a moment before we dig in. I want to so share another little opportunity with However, you and that's then never going to we'll work continue in the on for students who want to challenge her. For the record, my voice is not aggressively authoritative though. It is just calm and low and relaxed. Unless the student is malicious, unkind or disrespectful, a sign of my authority is that I laugh easily. I can do that because I am confident that the children are listening and that they are following the classroom expectations so I'm able to be relaxed and relational. I can be that way because I've established an environment in which if they don't follow me and the expectations we've established, I will help them until they do. I loved the idea Four, of teaching clearly them. tone of but voice demonstrates they keep how when I tone of voice speaking. shapes your classroom I had great plans culture. for them. Why weren't they Student interested in what I was saying? Operate As my frustration grew, my teaching tone of voice And a positive, changed. supportive tone These of were good voice kids. is required to A lot of work this. for teachers throughout the multiple years. Positive really behavioral support is not As listed. individuals, I enjoyed their humor, their energy, their honesty. On my free classroom management checklist as a harassing teacher to be off topic. Because it is essential to all of the pillars. They quite literally told me that. Students will feel more comfortable when they are Asking me, I lost sight of why the tone of your voice matters when teaching. Words and a warm I let my stress levels rise, and although I did not, I love five, the idea. The right of teaching, teaching tone of voice creates why did they emotional keep interrupting me when I was speaking. Our tone of voice contributes great plans to the emotional for them. Why weren't they interested the in what I was saying? Students, as my when we communicate, grew, my we care about the student, tone of voice, not just what they changed. do right. These they were feel good valued and an emotional a lot of work for teachers throughout the multiple years, but really. Now, knowing how does tone of voice affect communication, let's get to proactively managing behavior with your tone of voice. 
Imagine you have developed a strong and positive tone of voice as a teacher. You have proactively modeled how students are to treat you and to treat others. Because you have established authority in the class, your students are more likely to comply with classroom expectations and rules. But still, a disagreement starts to escalate one day. Why is tone of voice important in the classroom? Imagine if a conflict does break out. You are maintaining your calm and composure and addressing students with a calm, confident, assertive teaching tone of voice. This can de-escalate conflicts quickly if you have already established authority and relationship. They are habituated to responding to your authority quickly and with confidence that you have a plan. If students trust you and are willing to learn from you, they are more likely to work to resolve a conflict. On those occasions when you do need to be stern, the rela relationships you have established, combined with a calm but stern and fair teaching tone of voice, may be all that is required to get everything back on track. Sometimes all it takes is a simple, okay, then thank you. I don't want to see that again. That's what I mean by stern. Often that is followed up with a quick high five or hug of rec reconnection and everything is back on track. This is possible because the students know that when I say, I don't want to see that again, that that's time to stop and they've been given a shot and it's time to get back to their desks and focus and all is done. Tone of voice also communicates cultural sensitivity. Communicating inclusiveness when you talk to all of your students is essential. Your students do learn what you think of their peers through your voice. And if your students love you, that will impact social hierarchy, which can be good or bad. We don't know too much about our students' home environments. Tone of voice also communicates cultural sensitivity. Oh, okay. Teaching students about tone of voice will always be essential. They may never have been taught about tone of voice at home. Do you want your students to speak to you respectfully? It starts with you teaching students about tone of voice by talking to them in a respectful tone of voice as a teacher. So how do you go about developing your teaching tone of voice? First, let's acknowledge that you already have a teaching tone of voice. The first step is to identify your most commonly used teaching tone of voice. Does your voice communicate boredom, fear, anger, love, amusement, compassion? You are likely to be communicating how you feel. Feelings aren't bad, they just are. They are an essential part of how we stay safe and experience life. I may walk into a classroom feeling frustrated by a staff announcement from my administrator. If I communicate that frustration to my students through my teacher's tone of voice, the students may perceive that the frustration in my voice as something they have done wrong. That is really confusing for students and could make them feel safe and uncomfortable, inadequate or any number of other feelings. Once again, your feelings aren't bad or wrong, but they are your responsibility to manage appropriately, just like we teach our students. If you take a moment to acknowledge your feelings, breathe and choose to calm yourself, you have created a clean slate with which to start the day for both you and your students. So the first step to developing the right teacher tone of voice is to be able to understand what you are feeling. Also recognize that teachers have many ways of using their voice to manage their classroom and your students may have experienced that. I have heard teachers speak to students in various ways in an effort to manage their classroom. They use, for example, a dominating voice to let students know who's in charge, a high pitched super friendly voice to win friendship and compliance, a condescending voice to manipulate students to believe to stay, to behave to stay in your good graces an angry tone of voice to create a powerful differentiation in a hope to avoid conflict with any but the most rebellious students, a conspiratorial vo voice in an effort to get the popular kids on board, expecting the rest to follow. Stepping out of the comfort zone and changing your tone of voice can be daunting and it is unlikely to be, go successfully all in one day. And I'm not suggesting you're any or all of the above at all. I'm saying there are innumerable tones of voice. What is yours? If your voice is high pitched, you will likely have to remember to lower it and breathe multiple times throughout the day. Certainly a job that I had to work on. If you manage using a teacher's tone of voice 
tone of anger when you perceive defiance, you will need to shift your perspective to consider the idea that the child just made a mistake. Changing your tone or growing a more positive tone is a process, and I encourage you to celebrate every single moment of progress. Improve your teaching tone of voice and by celebrating your own growth. I love mindset the idea of is teaching everything. Them. And but why did they keep interrupting me when I was really speaking? Difficult. I had great plans my family for them. Why were they interested in what I was saying? Community my As my frustration grew, my children teaching care about their friends and family. Changed. These were However, good kids. we did not spend a, a lot of work for teachers throughout other. multiple years, more often but really good kids. We were more vocal As individuals, we I enjoyed their humor, their, their energy, their other. honesty. This is but natural. They learned My that if they persevered Scottish. in harassing and the in teacher the Scotland to be of their off topic, they could get anyone who got too big for their britches they was swatted quite down literally to size. Told me that was the culture. So when they were harassing me, I lost sight of why the tone of your voice matters in their teaching. I let my stress levels there rise, was, and although I was, did not escalate uh, to shouting at them, key, I, I had not yet stone. learned to manage my, my parents had five children and four grandchildren by the time my first child class. was born. They were if somewhat this was a competition the for who was controlling the class, extraordinary they accomplishment won. of my daughter's Today I'm here to share with you how to use your teaching tone of voice to overcome classroom Their nickname for my magnificent daughter So let's just take a moment before we dig in, I want to share another little opportunity about my over-explanations of her perfection. This is just not done in their minds. The impact on this on me is that I also learned to communicate in a way that was less affirming, less celebratory. Anytime I was concerned by a behavior, that, that concern came out as criticism. Rather than celebrating achievements so they knew what they got right, I was frequently clear about what they were doing wrong. Fortunately, a lot has changed over the years. I've worked hard to adjust my mindset to affirming positive choices rather than observing what I perceive to be imperfect choices, but it is a daily work in progress. And when th with this growth, I am far more aware of the power of affirmations. The point, be gentle with yourself if you are working on changing your teaching tone of voice. You are probably changing more than just your tone of voice in teaching. I know I had to. I loved the idea of Ask teaching for help them. to shape but your teaching tone But why did they keep interrupting me when I was speaking? Teaching is becoming I had great plans for them. Why were they interested in what I was saying? For years, many As teachers my worked in a silo with teaching a lot of tone support. of voice. Change. Sign up for Pro-D on positive good behavioral support if a lot it is available of work for to teachers you. Throughout the multiple if you years, know of a colleague really whose students go back to visit As individuals, for years after leaving their classroom, their energy, their honesty. Any they have learned that if they persevered in harassing a teacher to be off topic, they could get out of their schoolwork. They quite literally told me that. My daughter's kindergarten teacher was an example of this. So when they were harassing me, I lost sight of why the tone of your voice matters when teaching. Her students came back with their own children. And although I did not escalate so much about their classroom, I had not yet learned to manage Persist in practicing a positive teaching tone and voice. As you seek to refine your teaching tone of voice in order to manage your classroom positively, perseverance is key. Not every attempt will yield perfection, and that's perfectly fine. Each time you step up, excuse the via traffic, each time you step up, you are engaging in a learning opportunity. With each attempt, you will refine your skills. Keep trying to be open to adjustments and celebrate the small victories along the way. Be encouraged on your journey and remember, you are not alone. However, you are somebody who is doing their best. Failure is just a lesson in disguise. Dig into the treasures that experienced teachers have to offer. I can quite honestly tell you that working on my teaching tone and voice changed my heart by being my perspective on people and life and significantly impacted my relationship with my own children. If you are giving your best, but not trying for perfection every day, you are doing an awesome job. Embracing positive behavior support through tone and voice is a journey. Your commitment to creating a supportive learning environment demonstrates your heart for students. As you navigate the learning curve, celebrate the victories. Like any venture, there will be narrow trails and steep climbs. No matter how small your achievement, know that you are not alone in this adventure. As you continue to work on refining your teaching tone of voice, Remem remind yourself that the impact of your efforts extends far beyond the classroom. You are shaping the future one positive interaction at a time. One final thank you for sharing your time with me today. I want to encourage you that growth for a teacher is just like growth for a student, one step at a time. Be kind to yourself and congratulate yourself for each step forward that you take. You have been blessed with an amazing calling the, the challenges are many, but I'm here to support you. You've got this. 
With my desire to walk with you in mind, I offer one last reminder. If you found this or any other video helpful, I encourage you to download the free classroom management checklist. Find the link in the description below. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.